Good afternoon. I am so excited to get into day 43, Isaiah 43. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Isaiah 43, I'm going to summarize it and then I think I want to read it and then I'm going to summarize and tell you what I learned. Isaiah 43, but now thus says the Lord that created you, O Jacob, and he that formed you, O Israel, fear not, for I have redeemed you, I have called you by your name, thou art mine, you are mine. When you pass through the waters, I'll be with you. When you go through the rivers, I'll be with you. They shall not overflow you. When you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned. Neither shall the flame kindle upon you. For I am the Lord, your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. I gave Egypt for your ransom, Ethiopia and Seba. I did that for you. Since you were precious in my sight, you have been honorable and I have loved you. Therefore, will I give men for you and people for your life. Fear not, for I am with you. I will bring you your seed from the east and gather your seed from the west and gather you from the west. I will say to the north, give up and to the south, let them go, keep not back. Bring my sons from far and my daughters from the ends of the earth. I'm, gonna, I'm trying to get to the end. I'm going to gather you together. <laughs> Even everyone that is called by my name, for I have created him for my glory. I have formed him. Yes, I made him. Let all the nations be gathered together and let the people be assembled. Who among them can declare this and show us former things? Let them bring forth their witnesses that they may be justified. Or let them hear and say, it is truth. You are my witnesses, says the Lord, and my servants, servant whom I have chosen, that you may know and believe me and understand that I am he. Before me, there was no God formed, neither shall there be after me. I have declared and I have saved and I have showed when there was no strange God among you. Therefore, you are my witnesses, says the Lord, that I am God. Yes, before the day I was. Yes, before the day was I, am, he. And there is none that can deliver out of my hand. I will work and who shall let it? Thus says the Lord, your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. For your sake, I have sent to Babylon and have brought down all their nobles and the Chaldeans whose cry is in the ships. I am the Lord, your Holy One the creator of Israel, your king. Thus says the Lord, which makes a way in the sea and a path in the mighty waters, which brings forth the chariots and horse, the army and the power. They shall lie down together. They shall not rise. They are extinct. They are quenched as snow. That's when God brought the children of Israel out of um, Egypt. And Pharaoh and his army died. Verse 17. He said, Remember ye not the former things, neither consider the things of old. 
Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall ye not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. The beast of the field shall honor me, the dragons and the owls, because I give water in the wilderness and rivers in the desert to drink to my people, my chosen. This people have I formed for myself. They shall show forth my praise. But you have not called upon me. Oh, Jacob, but you have been weary of me. Oh, Israel, you have not brought me small cattle of your burnt offerings. Neither have you honored me with your sacrifices. I have not caused you to serve with an offering, nor wearied you with incense. You have brought me no sweet cane with honey. Neither have you filled me with the fat of your sacrifices. But you shall, but you have made me to serve with your sins. All I get is a bunch of sins. You have wearied me with your iniquities. I, even I, am he that blotted out transgressions. That's what I do for my own sake and will not remember your sins. He said, put me in remembrance. Let us plead together. Declare thou that thou mayest be justified. Your first fathers have sinned and the teachers have transgressed against me. Therefore, I have profaned the princes of the sanctuary and have given Jacob to the curse and Israel to reproaches. That's 28 verses of Isaiah 43. I wanted to read it because I wanted to make sure I went over it and then I want to summarize the lesson that I got from Isaiah 43. God Number one is in love with us. Israel was God's special group of people that he wanted to use so that he so that they can be an illustration or they can be the people that's known to be in God's school or his class. He told them, I'm in love with you. I love me some Israel. I love Abraham. And anything that's connected to Abraham, I'm going to show you that I want to be your father and your God. So God expresses to Israel, I will keep you when trouble comes. I'll make sure that if nobody else has water, you do. I'll make sure that the animals that live around you, that they will praise me because I'm going to take good care of them. I'll make sure, I want you to know that I'm, I, I'm boasting on myself because I want you to know that I am God. He said, before me, there was no God. He said, nobody was, can be, nobody was before me and nobody was after me. He said, if you have a God, let me talk to him. Because I want to ask him, what did you do for these people in the past? Because if you are God, then you know everything. Do you have anything that you did for the people in the past? I, better yet, what you going to do for them in the future? And he said, I told Israel who I was, and they witnessed. There was no false gods in between me and Israel. Israel saw me uh, take Pharaoh down and all of his army. They know that 
They know that to be true. They know my past. And I also told them I was going to send them myself represented in my son and how he was going to be a, the only thing that they had to come to to learn about me being the father is come through him. I told Israel way before it happened. I said, Israel, if you ever doubt that I would keep my word in the future, just look back in the past and see if I kept my word in the past. As long as you know that I'm going to keep my word, you can trust me. I'm in love with you. I know what you're made out of. I know who you are. I know your name by name. I want to walk with you. I want to uphold you. I want to strengthen you, uphold you, and then I want to hold your hand. But instead, what you did, Israel, 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 my people. And then you wouldn't even else. If I am a God that keeps my word over the big things, don't you know that I told you if you don't open unto me and I'm knocking, I'm going to keep my word to you because you won't open to me. And that means I'm going to leave you all by yourself. He said, I'm so tired of your sins. All I asked you to do was, was to take some time to get to know me. He said, you want to know why you don't want me? In the 28 verse says, therefore I have profaned the leaders is a curse to you. Therefore, I have profaned. I made it a curse in the sanctuary. And have given Jacob to the curse. He said, you got curses on you and you call it blessings. And you are reproach. People don't even like me because of you. It's not supposed to be that way, Israel. But I'm telling you what I'm going to do in the future. These things I'm going to do. What I have done, I've done. And the things that I'm going to do, I will do. And I know I got to do it because I see you won't come back to me. I ask you every day to let me be your vocabulary. Hang out with me so you can learn how I talk, how I act, how I think, and who I am. He said, I had your name on the roll. And I said, like a classroom teacher, I said, Israel. They said, Israel is absent. I said, okay, yes. Next day, Israel, is Israel here? No Israel showed up in my, in my presence. And I called again, Israel, and still you never show up. But guess what you do? You call me every time life get hard. Is it Israel? I'm not going to have it. I told you that I would strengthen you uphold you and even hold your hand every time I bless you you walk away from me the only time you come back to me is when you're in trouble Israel one of these days you are not going to come to class and I'm not going to look for you I'm trying to keep myself he said I'm tired he said, because when my anger comes out on me, I'm going to be like a woman that's ready to give birth. You won't be able to stop my anger. I don't like the way you treat each other, Israel, because what you do to your neighbor, that's what you're doing to me. You say you love me, but you don't treat your neighbor right. You don't go to work on time. When you do get a job, you won't do it right. You don't pay for things that you say you will pay for? He said, Israel, you can't do that and represent me. He said, you make me stink in the nostrils of people that don't even say they know me. You know me. I know your dad. I know your mom. But some kind of way you think that you're going to go through life without being in my presence. And I'm telling you, Israel, you can't make it without me. I am the word of God. My word is who I am. 
and I myself am God. And there, I'm telling you, there is no other God. He said, I formed you, and I'd like to brag on you. I want to hear you sing, and I want to see you in my class every single day. I got good thoughts about you. Nobody else can love you like I, I can. Nobody else can tell you about your future. All I ask you to do is to come to me, let me get in you, and let me be in you what you can't be without me. I could go by every verse and go back through it, but he, he was just saying, Israel, I am your redeemer. I am your savior. I am your God. I'm not going to let anybody bother you. Third verse, I'm the Holy One of Israel. I paid for you. I got people that I had to get rid of just so I could get you to me. You are precious to me. Fourth verse, I say fear not. Fifth verse, I'll, I'm going to make sure that those that are scattered be brought together. Sixth verse, if the north got you, I'm going to get you from the north. If the south got you, I'm going to get you from the south. Seventh verse, Everyone that is called by my name, you got my last name, you got my DNA, I'm going to make sure I get you. Uh, if you're blind, I'm going to open up your eyes so you can see clearly. I want all nations to let you go. If you are in any nation and they got you, I'm going to pull you out. You are witness that I'm God, 10th verse. 11th verse, there is nobody beside me. I'm. There is no other Savior beside who I am. 12th verse, I declare... And I have saved, I will show, there is no strange, you know when I did, there was no other God but me that did that. 13th verse, before the day, before I said, let there be light, I was God. 15th verse, I am the same God, the Lord, holy, and I'm your king. 16th verse, um, if you go by the sea, Thus said the Lord, which made, I made the sea, I'm sorry. I made the sea. I made all the waters. I put Pharaoh down off in that water because he was trying to bother you. And I said, remember the old things that I did. So when I say something new, you can trust that I'm going to do that too. The beast in the field going to honor me because they where they get their water. They gonna, you know how a dog gets to know his owner? The beast going to get to know me because they like how I make, take good care of them. He said, I formed you for me. I made you for me and me only to show forth my praise. I wanted, I wanted you to express my behavior because I want to draw everybody to me through you. But you won't call me. You'll never come to class. Oh, Jacob, you have not, you, you, you said, you weary of me? You tired of me? He said, you didn't bring me no offering. I ain't, I wasn't tripping. And he said, I, you didn't give me no incense. That's the prayers. I'm not you know, your prayers coming up as incense. I'm not tripping. I want you, even though you're forgetting to do certain things that you ought to do. You didn't bring me nothing sweet. Uh, uh, you didn't buy me nothing sweet with, with money. You did not give me some of the fat sacrifices that you had. All you did was serve me sin. Every time you did something to something that you brought me, it was something wrong with it. Just like Cain, you just kept bringing me things that had a flaw in it. He said, even I, I'm the one that that takes away sin. I blot out transgressions. 26, he said, put me in your memory. Let us talk together. Declare you that you may be justified. What you, what you, what you, what's better than me? 27, your father sinned. And the teachers that are teaching you are sinning. The people in the past are sinning. And the folk that you got standing over you, they living in sin. They're teaching you. They won't tell you about me. They pick out of my word and say what they want you to know. And you, you don't get to I'm not like that. And the last word first, he said, I have cursed anybody that won't teach you exactly what I said. Israel? Is Israel in the house today? But I do have me some people that stand in my word and you're going to see the difference of my class and those that won't come to class. Father, we thank you for your word. We thank you that this word is alive and thank you that I have an opportunity 
to be washed in your word. And all of the things that I used to think, my mind is being renewed. I have a new way of thinking. I have a new way of behaving. I have a new way of speaking. I'm a new person all because of your word. Thank you, Father, that I pray that everybody that I know or have ever met, that they will develop a desire to get to know you and who you are by what you said about yourself. In Jesus' name, amen.